to day 17 of the Table Topics 30-Day Challenge. Question number one. What is your happiest childhood memory? What makes it so special? Hello, fellow Toastmasters. I remember as a kid how much I loved Christmas. I still do as an adult. One year, I was probably five or six, maybe seven, the oldest, and my dad and I were in Sears, and he was carrying me along. We were looking at the Christmas displays that were out and some of the uh, toys and things, and as we were going through the toy department, I saw this huge slot car track, and it wasn't like the slot car tracks today where the cars were, you know, yay big. The cars here had to be like this. They were good sized cars. And I thought it was so cool. And they were running around the track on however they set them to run around just by themselves. So Christmas comes, Christmas morning, and I get up and I go out to the family room. My sisters are already up. They're looking at stuff. And there's the racetrack set up in the family room. It took up like the whole floor space in there. And I was so excited, I ran back and I got my dad. I said, Dad, Dad, come see what Santa left me. And so he got up and he was groggy. And I came to find out later that he'd gone to bed at like 2 or 3 in the morning because one of his friends and he had set up the track and stayed up that late playing with it. So when I got him up, it was, you know, probably 7 a.m. And yeah, he was pretty blurry-eyed, but it was nice. We, we played for a while and then he said, I'm going to go back to bed for a little bit. But that was a lot of fun. Madam Toastmaster, 1 minute 46 seconds. Question number two. What or who has been distracting you? Okay, Toastmasters, show of hands. Who here is affected by the shiny object syndrome? Right? You mean to work on one thing, you get focused on one thing, but something else pops up and you think, ooh, you leave that thing that you're working on and you run over, start working on this other thing. And then you're working on this other thing, and then ooh, something's shiny over there. And you run over there and you're working on that thing. That can be me. And right now I have my own business and my wife has started hers. And I know I know, I know, I know she's going to be great at it. She's just in the learning curve phase right now. But I'm excited for her, and I'm thinking of ways I can help her, so guess what? I'm kind of focused on things like that, trying to help her. When I should be working on my own business, and really, she would appreciate it if I let her kind of figure things out on her own. So that's what's been distracting me lately, and I realize, yes, do need to take a step back and leave it to her. Mr. Toastmaster, one minute, 25 seconds. Question number three. What did life teach you yesterday? Well, hello, fellow Toastmasters. Life, boy, what a teacher it can be, right? You know, I read an email from my pastor. We've been trading them every so often. And in this one email, he gave me a short blurb about some, some people, or I shouldn't say some people, about one person who was going through something similar I had gone through and how angry this person was. No, no confidential details. And he was just using that to illustrate something with me to help me and benefit me. And I realized as I read that, the thing that I had come through, and it dealt with a lot of personal anger towards someone, I realized how much I learned in that. Because even though he just mentioned a short blurb about this person, I realized I had a lot to share and offer this person. And so I ended up writing an email back with, this is what I was feeling this is what I did. This was my perspective. And if you feel any of this is helpful, please feel free to share it with this person. So, yeah, I learned yesterday how much I learned in a 
this particular area. Madam Toastmaster, 1 minute 30 seconds. Question number four. What celebrities do you admire? Why? Well, hello, fellow Toastmasters. You know, I think a lot of times celebrities get a bad rap. Now, certainly some of them deserve it. They put themselves out there and get themselves in sticky situations. But I think it's unfair to lump every celebrity in the same category. So when I heard this question, a couple of people came to mind. One, the first one I think was Matt Damon. And the reason I think of Matt Damon is because I read how when he was out filming a movie, he would spend time and socialize with the crew, right? Gappers, electricians, the set folks. And in fact, I think it was on one of the Oceans movies he did that he even organized a bowling league with the crew and would bowl with them. And I thought that was so cool. He wasn't off at some big party or behind gates at a villa staying somewhere. He was hanging out with the crew. And I think that is so cool. The other one is Keanu Reeves. And it's my understanding Keanu is very humble, makes a lot of time for his fans. In fact, there was a flight that had broken down. They were somewhere stranded. And he ended up renting a bus or a shuttle and got a bunch of people on there. And they rode on to their final destination with Keanu. And he was hanging out just being one of the people. And so I just love that when celebrities can set aside the celebrity side and just be people. There's no pretentiousness. There's no, hey, I'm better than you, no superiority complex. Just being a regular, everyday person. Mr. Toastmaster, 1 minute 53 seconds.